Good morning, boys and girls. Um, I am coming to you today, Saturday. You'll probably be watching this on Sunday. And um, I have a couple stories to read to you, and then we're going to do a little activity with these Easter eggs. Okay? All right. This first book is called Easter Surprise. Ready, steady, gently crack. What do you think's in here? Oh, baby duckling, quack, quack, quack. Now I realize this is an easy book, but you'll understand in a minute. Pull and pull until you stop. Little bunny, hop, hop, hop. That bunny looks like the kind of bunnies that um, Charity used to have. Those are called Dutch bunnies. You can see those at the fair. They have the white collar. Open up what's inside. What do you think this one might be? Maybe a chick? No. Little lamb trying to hide. I wonder who is hiding here. Oh, can you see it? I bet you can see it on the other page. Sure enough, it's our friend, the baby deer. I'm sorry, maybe I'm not holding that close enough for you. Open up, take a peep. Oh, now I bet we know what it is. Fluffy chick. Beep, beep, beep. Campbell has some of those. Campbell, that kind of looks like your chick. One of your chickens, baby chicks. We're all here. Where are you? Aha. Uh -huh. Easter surprise, you're here too. Now I read you that book because we're going to open some eggs ourselves today. As you can see, I have an Easter basket here. Xander's going to help me with this because he doesn't know what's in any of these eggs. So he can play along. Sit down right there, okay. All right, we're gonna pick out an egg and he's gonna shake it and see if he can guess what's inside. And you're not allowed to look. Okay, I will show it to you first, okay? Oh, don't worry about the number or anything. Okay, okay, now he's gonna shake it. He's gonna try to figure out what's inside this egg. See if you now don't look. You can't look. You just have to shake it. I can't help it. They're chocolates. Okay, dark he chocolate. thinks they're chocolates, dark chocolates. Let's see if he's right. Or light chocolate. Oh yeah, he's right. Can you see? Chocolate chips. They're dark chocolate because that's what kind I like. Okay. Let's go to our next mm, one. Dark chocolate. Money. Oh, Xander guesses money. Hmm. Do you think he's right? Oh, looky there. He's right. Do you get money inside any of your Easter eggs? I don't think I did when I was a child. Okay. Check it again. Okay. Don't look. You're not allowed to look. Okay, he's guessing. M M M's. M M M's. He says M and M's. Let's see. And he didn't know either, because I didn't show him any of these before. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. There they are. M and M's. M and M's. He's not a fan of M and M's. Okay. 
her any Here other comes turn. another one. Hmm. What do you think, Xander? What do you think? Can I have a try? What do you think? That uh, one's kind of funny sounding, isn't it? Do you have a guess? Uh, wait, wait, wait! Uh, I don't... He doesn't know. I fooled him. Oh. You see what they are? Candy kisses. Okay. Now let's try this one. Uh-oh. There's no noise in that one. There's something in it though because it's heavy. What do you think that could be? Ah. Uh... It's a peep. Oh. It's a chocolate dipped peep. I had to really work to get that in there. Chocolate dipped peep. No, that's not for you. Those are those are his grandpa's favorite. Those are Mr. Don's favorite. Okay, now here's the last one. Last one in our Easter basket. What do you think? What do you think, boys and girls? <gasps> air! Nothing is inside it. Xander says air. He says nothing's in it. He's right. Now, if it was Easter morning, tomorrow morning, and you opened up an egg and it was empty when you were expecting candy, you'd be sad or disappointed, wouldn't you? But you know what? If we did not have an empty tomb, we wouldn't have Easter. It's because the tomb was empty that we are here celebrating the awesome power of Jesus. Jesus died for our sins, but the grave could not hold him, and he rose from the grave. He's alive today, and because he lives, we can live too and have our sins forgiven. As you eat and enjoy your candy and hunt your eggs, if you empty your egg, remember that. Try to remember the empty tomb because Jesus did that for us. That's the gift that God gave us. He gave us his son, Jesus. And I'm going to read one more story to you, and then we're going to do another little activity. This is called The Best like Thing it? About Easter. You got all of them except the kisses. Oh. Do you like Easter? I do. I think Easter is fun. I like the dye. I like to dye Easter eggs all different colors. Pink ones, green ones, blue ones, and orange ones and yellow ones. Which one is your favorite? But after we dye the eggs, we hide them. I think this is not showing up very well there. The sun was getting in the way, I think. I love to hunt for Easter eggs, don't you? Here's one right here. How many can you find? Yes, I think Easter eggs are fun. Okay, look at the page. See how many can you find on the page? How many Easter eggs do you see? Yes, I think Easter eggs are fun, but Easter eggs aren't the best thing about Easter. Sometimes we have candy Easter eggs with soft, squishy marshmallow on the inside. Sometimes we have gooey, chewy jelly beans. Yeah, I was going to put jelly beans in there, but I didn't have any jelly beans. Some taste like lemon or cherry or peppermint. Yum, yum, yum. 
And sometimes we have dark chocolate Easter bunnies that melt in your mouth. I like Easter candy a lot, but candy isn't the best thing about Easter. Did you ever pet a soft furry bunny at Easter time? I did at my uncle's farm. We can pet one every day because we have one. I like soft furry bunnies. Once my cousin got a fuzzy yellow duck that said, wah, wah, wah. My other cousin got a cute baby chick that said, peep, peep, peep. Again, Campbell, you know all about those chicks, don't you? I like furry bunnies and fuzzy ducks and cute baby chicks. Don't you? We have a bunny. His name is Fluffy. But bunnies and ducks and chicks aren't the best thing about Easter. Easter is in the springtime and guess what happens then? On the green, green grass, up the hill and down the hill, in the bright, warm sunshine. Wee! I run and run and run. Just watch me. Everything is bursting with new life. But springtime isn't the best thing about Easter. I like to get all dressed up, don't you? Some of you might say no. First, I get in the tub and get all clean. Then I brush, brush, brush my hair. There's bathtub, brushing the hair. And then I put on my very best clothes. Oops, sorry. Wow, I think I look terrific. Then, at church on Easter Sunday, we talk and laugh together, and we sit and sing together, and we listen and pray together. We have a treat together too. Oh yes, I like getting all dressed up and being together on Easter Sunday, but even that isn't the best thing about Easter. Get them all. The very best thing about Easter is Jesus, God's own son. Oh yes, Jesus is the best thing about Easter. You see, we have Easter because of Jesus. Jesus is about something wonderful that was part of God's amazing plan. First, a very sad thing happened. Jesus died on the cross. But guess what? Jesus didn't stay dead. No, he did not. On the very first Easter morning, God made Jesus alive again. The tomb was empty. There, do you see the ladies that went to the tomb? Jesus' friends were so surprised and so happy to see him alive again. Jesus is alive, they said. He is really alive. And then a little later, do you know what God did? He took Jesus up, 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 right through the clouds. It was all part of God's amazing plan. But the most amazing part of God's plan is that Jesus died and lives again for me, for you. It's true because Jesus loves me, you see. He loves you too. This is what God's love is. God loved us and sent his son, 1 John 4:10. Oh yes, I like Easter eggs and Easter candy. I like soft furry bunnies and fuzzy baby chicks. I like getting all dressed up and being together on Easter Sunday. But... 
the best thing about Easter is Jesus. I'm glad Jesus loves me. I'm really, really glad. Aren't you? I hope you enjoyed that story and that you can see the pictures all right. Now we're going to do our folder game. This is our last one about Easter. And I'm going to uh, stop this again so I can turn it around so that you'll be able to see it well. So just a minute and you can go on with the video. Okay, we have pictures of the empty tomb. And the first question is, in whose tomb was Jesus buried? What was the name of the man whose tomb he was buried in? Who, whose tomb was it? Joseph's, correct. Let me hold this up so you can see the answer. Whoop. Well, there, Joseph's tomb, okay? All right. Who asked for the body of Jesus? Right, Sandra. Joseph of Arimathea. Right here is the answer. Joseph of Arimathea. That's where he was from. Back in Bible times, they would do that. They would say, um, like, Grady from Baltimore. Grady of Baltimore, or they would say, um, uh, Levi of Amanda, or they would say, uh, Lydia of Lancaster, or, um, let me think, who else do we have? Um, uh, I'm trying to think of another school area, another town. Um, well, anyway, you get the idea. How did Jesus die? That's the next question. Crucifixion. He was crucified. We talked about that yesterday. What was the body of Jesus wrapped in? Linen cloth. That is the way they did the burying back then. Um, very similar to uh, the way they wrapped mummies back in the Egyptian time. What covered the door of the tomb? A door? Or a curtain? No. It was, whoops, dropped it. A stone, right. Not just a stone, little stone, like we might think about a little stone. It was a big, big rock. How many days was Jesus in the grave? Was it two, three, seven? How many? Three, correct. Three days in the grave. Okay, when did the women visit the tomb? Okay, that one we don't have. Every one of these folder games I think we've used, there's been one missing that's fallen out somewhere, I guess, at the church building. What did they bring to anoint the body with? On Sunday morning, what did they bring to anoint the body with? Spices and perfumes, right? Spices and perfumes. And the last one, what had happened to Jesus? He was resurrected. Thank you, God, for sending your son and letting him die for us and be raised on the third day. Um, I hope that you have a really nice Easter and that you enjoy your day tomorrow. We're sad that we can't all be together, but... I hope that you will enjoy it with your family and that you enjoyed this lesson. I love you. God bless you. See you again next week. Bye-bye.